Why Brooklyn? Because Brooklyn's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> This whole thing was about how do we engage the community as well as bring interest to this project. He was curious about ways to engage artists and to deal with the fencing that went all the way around it so it didn't just become covered with playbills and advertisements. Art fencing seemed like a great place to start since we are in construction and it kind of flowered from art fencing into, we had such a strong reaction when we were installing the fencing, which I participated in, of course, um, and the, the people were asking, when's the show, when's the opening? You know, when we designed this sales office, it seemed like a natural fit to try to get the work that we blew up for the art fencing into the actual sales office and gallery environment. And so now we have a show permanently installed here, and we're not only selling apartments, we're selling art. Everyone submitted X amount of work. We curated the work. We went through it, found what we thought were the best examples that would work in that situation. We had all that blown up. And then one Saturday, we got together, we got the artists together, and we went over and did the project. We hung all the art and put up on the barricade fence all the way around. My name is John Gerard, and I'm one half of Gerard Studio. Mary Creed being the other half, the better half, if I might add. We essentially solve problems for the arts, and we'll take on any kind of project that has a creative element to it or a problem to be solved. We do puppets, we do stop motion animation. It, over the past 20 years that this company's been around, there's pretty much nothing we haven't done in the creative art field. I'm Brian Shaw. Um, I make paintings and sculptures. I'm a musician. I make these paintings around here. I make sculptures like this one behind me. I found objects I find out on the street. And so I come from a very kind of DIY, you know, make your own t-shirts, make your own patches kind of approach. So all of my paintings and my drawings use a lot of layers of acrylic t-shirt paint and silk screen and these kind of processes that come out of uh, really the subculture I've been involved with my entire life. My name is Carrie Skozik. I'm a painter. Uh, I also do prints. I also do costume design, and I also make um, soft sculptures. So I use a lot of pinups, um, like Betty Page, and then fashion magazines, just to get those really boom poses. But I like to call them empowered bimbos, using sex as a power tool. Come hither and be good, or I will eat you up and spit you out. I'm Richard Richard Semko and I'm Brooklyn's Brooklyn artist, that's what I am. And, uh, lately I, you know, connected with uh, Eastern European, you know, like tradition of icons. I use the silver leaf, you know, uh, gold leaves as a background. My name's uh, Paul Vogler, and most of my art features a lot of architectural, kind of ornamental things. Um, I deal a lot with the, the city and the urban landscape especially the transformation of Brooklyn at the moment. I want my paintings to really pop in your eyes. I'm gathering, you know, images from all different areas, you know. I'll put an architectural building and then stars on it, or a Baroque floral pattern over something from the 20th century. I'm Mary Donovan. This I'm... is my husband, Michael Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> she never lets me speak for myself. <laughs> We inspire each other, and occasionally we work together. And the one thing we've learned is that you can't make, nothing can be too precious. You have to keep, uh, anything can be changed. And what we usually do is we, by the end of the painting, uh, we have a, uh, uh, we come to an agreement that this is done. And uh, so I think it's been good for the marriage. Mm -hmm.